Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can cheat in Elden Ring using Cheat Engine. Doing this can give you infinite runes, which you can use to max out all your stats or buy anything from a shop, or you can duplicate items to give yourself 99 or 999 of any item, or a God mode where you just become unstoppable. So first we're gonna open Cheat Engine and then we're gonna click this computer icon Select Elden Ring and click open. Now Cheat Engine is attached to the game. First, to do our runes, we're gonna go into our status and see how many runes held we have. Here I have 665. So I'm gonna go and search for the value 665. Then I'm gonna go gain some XP. So now my runes held is 799. So I'm gonna put 799 and do next scan. And these are all the values that could be for our runes. So we're just gonna add them all to our address list by selecting them all and right clicking, add selected addresses to the address list. And we have them all here. We can control A, right click, change record, description. And we'll just call this runes. Select all of them, right click, change record, value. And we'll just make this 20 million and just like that we have updated how many runes we're holding when we rest at a bonfire we can see it here and we could add as many levels as we want now without it ever running out and even if it does run out we can just change it and add more so here we ran out of xp at level 205 we'll just give ourselves another crazy amount of souls runes the easiest way to max all your stats is to just level up using the runes that you got. To do god mode, we need to scan our HP value. So here our HP is 2100. So we're going to click new scan and put in 2100 and click first scan. Then we're going to go lose some HP. Okay, now we have 741 HP. We're going to put 741 and click next scan. This brings up a whole bunch of addresses. We'll just drink a potion. That brings our health to 991. And you can see all of these change to 991. So we'll just select them all, add them to our address list. We're gonna select them all, change the description to HP. And again, we're going to right click, change record and value. And we're gonna put it to 2100, back to full health. And you can see we changed our health. We're back at 2100. And now what we can do is with all of these HP values selected, press space. And that will activate this little red checkbox that you see here. That just means that value is frozen and it is not going to change anymore. Uh, so essentially that gives us unlimited health. Yeah. And you can see I'm taking damage, but my health goes back to full. So with God mode now, you don't really have to try to fight. An easy way to duplicate your items is to first have a few of that item to begin with, and then go into your stash and see how much of that item you have. In this case, we'll do row of fruit, 14 of them. So we're gonna scan for 14. Then we're gonna put one into the stash. So now we're holding 13. I'm gonna scan for 13. I'm gonna do scan type unchanged value to just filter out the remaining few addresses. And now one of these four addresses is responsible for this row of fruit. So we're just gonna add them all, right click, change description to row of fruit. And I'm just gonna go ahead and select them all, right click, change record, value, and I'm gonna make this 999. And this should give me 999 row of fruit. You can see it says 999 held. It's just not showing because it has an updated on the screen. But if we change tabs and come back, we have 999 row of fruit. And you can do this with anything. Here we have 10 bolts. We'll just scan for bolts. With bolts, you could probably just do this as you're shooting them to change the value. So you scan for 10, shoot one arrow, 
In this case, we're just going to put one in the box. And then we scan for nine, then scan unchanged value. Add all these addresses, except the one that says five. And we're going to rename it to arrows. And we're going to change the value to 999. And there we go. We have 999 arrows, which vastly exceeds how much you can actually hold. You can only hold 99. So this way you basically have infinite ammo. If you only have one of the item, it's a lot trickier because you're just going to be playing with zeros and ones. And that makes it really hard to find the address because every program uses a lot of zeros and ones, a lot of on off, yes, no kind of code. If you only have one item and you're searching for the value of one, you're going to get a lot of addresses. So here we're dealing with 11.4 million addresses. To give you some perspective, when we searched for our HP value, it only showed us 3,000 values. So we now have to compete against over 11 million values. So we're going to put the rune fragment in our inventory, in our box. And we're going to search for zero now. And then we're going to put it back in our inventory and we're going to scan for a one. We can do scan unchanged value a bunch of times. That will weed out a lot of junk. Put the item back in the box and we scan for a zero, scan unchanged a bunch of times, put the ruined fragment back in your inventory and scan for a one. Put it back in the box, scan for a zero, put it back in your inventory and scan for a one. And now these are all the potential values for this ruined fragment. So the next tricky part here is if I switch this one, it can crash the game because if any of these addresses are using this one critically in to make the game run and I go changing it, the game is going to crash. So I'm going to go change value, change record. I'm going to make it 99. The game has not crashed. The game is kind of crashing. It's acting funny. Okay. So it worked. We did manage to get 99 rune fragment. We'll just turn that into 999 now that we have it. I want to do the same thing with the smithing stone so I can actually do some crafting. So we're going to do scan for a value of one. We're going to put it in our box. We're going to scan for a zero, put it back in my inventory, scan for a one, put it back in the box, scan for zero, put it back in inventory, scan for a one, put it back in the box, scan for zero, take it out of the box. And these values that change to one are my value for this item. We'll call it smithing stone. We're going to change the value to 999. And now we have 999 smithing stones. So that's how you can get started with cheating in Elden Ring. There's a lot you can do with what I showed you in this video. Try all different kinds of things. There's a lot of creative ways you can cheat. Give yourself infinite stamina, infinite FP. Get those really hard to farm crafting materials or just enjoy an easy mode.